Three weeks ago, team pilot Oliver O'Halloran was getting ready to take off on an epic journey to become the youngest person ever to fly around Australia solo and unassisted. Yeah, I'm oh, pretty excited. Yeah, quite excited. The trip's going to be a pretty good trip. It's quite the dream for a school kid who's only just turned 17, only just got their full pilot's licence and can't actually drive a car yet. It's quite interesting when it comes to the driver's licence. Yeah, I'm, I haven't got my P's yet, I'm still my L's. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of people are surprised when you tell them about it. Ollie's plan was to set off from Hobart and fly nearly 15,000 k's over 20 days, following the whole coastline, with stops along the way to rest, refuel and visit schools. I would speak to them about achieving their dreams. Uh, so it's the main idea behind the flight. Uh, I think the record is just a bonus. Ollie was inspired after meeting his own teenage hero, Ryan Campbell, who was once the youngest person ever to fly around the world solo. This trip's been three years in the making. And before Ollie set off, there were lots of cuddles from the fam and well wishes. I hope you don't crash. <laughs> By the end of May, Ollie had travelled just over two weeks with a few hiccups along the way, like some bad weather over the Gold Coast and Perth. But when he made this stop, he was in high spirits. Get it? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's been very busy. I've been trying to average around six hours. The longest day we had was from Darwin down to Port Hedland, uh, which was nine hours of flying, so that was quite a busy day. Most of the time I'm keeping myself on track, so uh, I've got a map in front of me as I showed before, and uh, so uh, I tend to use the map or listen to music or just stuff like that and just sort of relax and enjoy the flight, yeah. Good mate, George. Yeah, Ryan. Ollie was also greeted by some fellow aviation enthusiasts who got a chance to learn more about flying. Yeah, there you go. So that's one chart and I've got 49 of those to get around oh, Australia. Yeah. Wow. So um, that was an expensive 49. day. Yeah. He's only 17 and he's already flying by himself around Australia, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I learned many things like the gears of the plane and the GPS and like how tricky it was to fly in weather conditions. It was amazing how he's done this at a very young age by himself with no one else, so yeah, I find that really inspiring, yeah. Yeah, it is. I even got to ask a few very important aviation questions of my own. And so what about when you just want something to eat or, dare I ask, you want to go to the toilet? Yes. And you're like flying for nine hours, what do you do? Yeah, so we've got, um, there's a sneaky snack bag back there, um, bag. but I haven't actually touched it yet. Uh, but there's, um, <laughs> when it comes to the toilet, you just have to prepare pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So you have to um, yeah, go before you go, uh, and then if it comes to the worst, there's always a water bottle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask where. No, I don't. On the weekend, Ollie landed safely home in Hobart with a warm welcome and a world record. Obviously, the whole flight gives you a real buzz, but to see that much support and, and see all the people that supported me from the start has been pretty amazing, yeah. And despite all the schoolwork he'll have to catch up on, it's unlikely this high flyer is going to stay grounded for long.